What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Skip and Loafer, this time with episode 6. Uh, really excited for today, um, we didn't uh, really meet too many new characters or anything last episode, but um, kind of further explored Iwakura, um, which was really awesome. Uh, the red-haired girl whose name I do forget, so apologies about that, Ega, Egashita or something. Uh, we saw quite a bit of her kind of, um, well we saw... We didn't really see too much about her past. I'm looking forward to seeing more about her past. But uh, look, we, we saw a little bits of her kind of being very different from other people. Um, again, I think that kind of quite easily came across in the uh, the opening episodes. Um, again, didn't make the best first impression. But again, getting to know her a little bit better and um, coming around to her quite a bit, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think there's any kind of evil or bad characters in the series. Again, just characters with different issues and um, that see things differently so i'm um, looking forward to seeing even more from her kind of perspective but um yeah loads of uh loads of wholesome moments last episode with us uh, having the kind of sports festival i'm uh, looking forward to seeing what today's episode has in store but um do let, do let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions get right into it was there a, is there previews i'm not i can't remember if there was i can't remember what this one had for us Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a lot of rainstorms where I live as well recently. One about half an hour ago. Oh, is that? I think that look says yes. <laughs> Looks like she's smitten, doesn't it? Interesting. We haven't actually seen too much of uh, of that girl, have we? We've seen her every now and then. Obviously, in the first episode. Uh, See her again every now and then on phone calls, but we haven't really explored her at all, have we? So, I'm going to go with her story today. Someone so far away. Yeah, really wholesome into last episode, wasn't it? With uh, Iwakura stepping up and giving her a gift. Support and Shiba. Shima, sorry. This guy's fun. I like him. That's a lot. Maybe some similar feelings we have. And it's not exactly the same for everyone as well, is it? But again, I think we might be able to relate to a few of those things, perhaps. Exam syllabus. <laughs> I 
That guy there looks a hell of a lot like the guy from Silent Voice, doesn't he? <laughs> Oi. What are these guys? Jogasaki. That's a recognizable name from uh, Sket Dance. Yeah, she loving this, isn't she? Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Irritating, but correct. No, I feel like maybe that's the reason he's not here today. Oh, wow, there's a lot of messages there. Okay. I mean, I've done that plenty of times. And so was that planned as well? Holy crap. One in every three. Where are these girls getting these rumors from? Good on you. That was a uh, like that Tokyo Avengers right there. Rice. <laughs> Not the uh, not the most intimidating delinquent ever. This isn't actually happening, is it? No, de definitely not. But like I said, maybe there's some different feelings in love. Maybe she's not actually in love with him or anything at the minute. I wouldn't be surprised by that. But um, as opposed to kind of getting giddy and such, maybe she's a bit worried about this that love like I said earlier people have uh, different experiences and such don't they I just count on what your friend says about something you're not in again today interesting interesting maybe this is Yeah, interesting, isn't it? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. If anything, it seems like the guy that had to keep, keep this as, as far away from people as possible and what he was talking about with his... Okay, so yeah, I was talking about what he was saying about his uh, acting. Trying to keep that under wraps. Doesn't want to bother people that much, does he? Really? You were girl? That was cold. That was cold. <laughs> really? Stable? I mean, you can get the kids to do it, I guess, why not? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of staples to be done here.
Um, yeah, <laughs> took the actually dreamt the exact same words. <laughs> so I love all the whispering, whispering that's going on here, considering that there are only two people here. Yeah, it's interesting seeing just how much she cares for him and his reputation, but really couldn't care less. That didn't go very well, did it? <clears throat> Rizzling and flickering. That really didn't go very well, did it? Well, it's, it's probably just because it happens so often. It gets annoying, I imagine. <laughs> He's asking himself the same bloody question. Chris? That's not a Japanese name. Well, I won't go that far, but definitely just cut it out. No one likes someone like that, do they? Pomeranian Rhapsody. I don't even get a chance to read the other one. Pomeranian Rhapsody. Wow. Okay. Getting to that level now, are we? <laughs> to not get copyright. <laughs> oh dear. Lovely. She's trying.
<laughs> oh dear, how awkward is this? More than 10 degrees colder than it was yesterday. Anything else you guys like to... Yeah, I guess not. A little cold, hey? Oh dear. He has not been out of our sight yet. Actually, she actually said that to me right there. Which is uh, not quite the exact translation or subtitles just used. You know, as much as I do like that with some shows that they change it, sometimes I really don't. Sometimes, like, why? What was the point of changing what she just said there? And the thing is, as well, I picked up on that one, but how many how, how many have I not picked up on? Is a question. Well, it it kind of said what she wanted to say, but it didn't in a way. I think she wanted for the best, the best for him, if you know what I'm saying. But as I was kind of roundabout, well, it's a roundabout way of telling him that it was in a way, but I don't know. I'm not great at this. <laughs> I'm not great at this. But it looks like we might actually hear soon. Who's sweating? As you'd expect in a situation like this. Looks like he even wants to kind of skip out on this. That sounds slightly similar to what we heard in the opening segment. A friend a little bit, doesn't it? Ah. Wow, that really, it really all came out of there, didn't it? Bloody hell. Is this why this show is called Skip and Loafer? Or am I just... 
misinterpret in that. I've, I've never, I've always kind of wondered about the title of this show. I don't know what it means even now. Um, it really did all come out right here, didn't it? If anything, this can only really be great for us though, right? All of this stuff coming out. Yeah, <laughs> this was this was quite the drama, wasn't it? <laughs> Why do I feel so vulnerable? <laughs> As I said, a lot of the stuff that was said there is coming up right here, isn't it? <laughs> Done that. <laughs> Done that. Kettle. Bloody hell. Ah, oh dear. Apologies, guys. My uh, allergies been acting up a little today. Oh, dear. Hence the episode's out a little later than usual. At that point, maybe you've got a question. The word friend. Man, that was a really great end to that episode, wasn't it? That was a really great end to that episode. Again, just an episode pretty much fully focused on. Well, we had a little bit of the uh, the friend back home, but fully pretty much focused on Iwakura and Shima right there. And again, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Really like that. Even got a little bit of help from the uh, the red haired girl. Again, come around to her quite a bit. But, um, yeah, everything kind of exploded right there, didn't it? The arm grab, every, everything after that was just like, damn, everything released. Both, both characters made themselves very vulnerable. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we were like, well, we're guaranteed to be kind of tighter than ever now, but I wouldn't be surprised if things, uh, I don't know, kind of pick up a bit in that respect in the uh, maybe romance department after that. But there has been little tells about um, his kind of circumstances, I guess, hasn't there? The fact that, again, we saw him at a friend's house earlier. Again, a friend called Chris. Is he maybe uh, American or something, perhaps? He did have her Hawaii shirt on, so... Probably. No, we don't have any previews for the show. Um, I don't forget that sometimes. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, really good episode today. Oh, my laptop about to run out. Uh, really good episode today. Um, again, love that little end segment there. Um, it's quite a cold episode uh, up until uh, under that kind of last quarter, wasn't it? Um, with uh, again, I think uh, I think even though it's kind of misunderstood, they both. <laughs> It was a tough, uh, a tough talk when they were kind of stamp, uh, stapling things, wasn't it? Um, she obviously again just kind of wondered what's best for him, but um, again for him, this situation coming up a lot, I imagine getting asked uh, about these rumors and such, and um, getting questioned about his kind of own life and if he's doing things right. When he knows he's kind of doing things right, is uh, yeah, again must be quite annoying. And um, he did do that kind of sarcastic, uh, kind of passive aggressive kind of tone again. Probably should cut it out. Like I said, people really hate that kind of stuff uh, more than if, even if you're just aggressive. I think people prefer if you're just aggressive <laughs> than uh, uh, than do stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was uh, again quite the cold 
episode until uh, until the kind of turning point at the end there again lovely uh, uh lovely kind of airing all the uh, all the stuff out um him actually releasing quite a bit about himself like i said i think that's probably a really hard thing for him to do um he's been again do, the whole season kind of avoiding doing that to be honest so um yeah that was uh, that was really awesome uh, seeing that segment of him and iwagura um quite romantic as well um obviously nothing well it was just an arm touch but <laughs> um again that was uh, probably the most romantic moment yet wasn't it um again really love that uh do let me know if you guys think of this one though down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys liked and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions i'll be back next week with episode seven so hopefully you join me then enjoy the rest of your day